Hi everyone, Dr. Victoria Scrubo here, speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. And I thought I would do a quick poll on uh, the Democrats and the Republicans. Today is the uh, 5th of January, and uh, today we have the, um, the runoff election in Georgia. That's going on right now. I have not uh, looked at it at all. I haven't looked at the news at all today, so I don't really know um, what's being said or what's going on. And then, of course, there's always tomorrow and uh, the uh, attempted Trump coup. Uh, so I kind of want to see where uh, the different um, factions are. Uh, uh, you know, what what condition are they in, et cetera, et cetera. And I think it's worth looking at the Republicans first um, because they are um, the ones that are um, attempting, I guess, to um, steal the election from Joe Biden. So let's see what happens here. Let's just see where the Republicans are at at this time. It would be interesting to look at um, the astrology of that. Um, I'm not prepared to do that, however, um, but I actually may do that in my class tonight. So for those of you who are watching or in my class, we'll, we could look at that tonight, couldn't we? All right, let's see. All right, and so we have, um, we have uh, justice. Um, this is called, this is the two of arrows and it is called in this deck, it is called injustice, injustice. And, um, I think what it, it, uh, indicates is that Republicans are of two minds here. There is the Republicans who are backing, uh, Trump. And then there are the Republicans who are not saying that, uh, they're backing Trump. They're just not saying anything. Um, so they are not, of course, in agreement here. So that's the situation. Let's see the challenge to that. We have the King of Arrows, the King of Arrows in this deck. Um, it is the King Fisher. It is the King Fisher. And, um, this is the King of Swords, really. And, uh, so the King of Swords is... Uh, I think it's a threat. I think there's there's uh, there's threats, but I think there's threats on both sides. There's threats of doing something illegal, and then there are threats um, that Donald Trump is uh, is levying them, levying on them for those who do not wish to go along with his coup. Let's see what's at the root of this. Okay, we have the moon here at the root. Um, so this, um, I'm just going to get this closer so you can see it. Oh, there it is. The moon. It's a lovely card. Looks like there's some, uh, heron in the sky. And then of course this, uh, beast, this bull. Um, you know, it's funny, uh, Trump has a, um, in, in his chart, his MC is Taurus. And so your MC is sort of your public persona. And Taurus uh, can be very stubborn <laughs> and very fixed in what they want and very uh, sometimes money hungry, actually, Taurus. Uh, it does rule money. I'm, well, yeah, well, Venus, Venus and Taurus. Um, so what's at the root of this is uh, Trump's emotional instability. In the past, we have the nine of vessels, which in this deck is called generosity. Um, so I think this was a generous relationship between Trump and the uh, Republicans. Um, they, they benefited from each other in the past, not necessarily anybody else, but each other. Uh, we have the page of vessels here. This is called otter. This is the, uh, the page of cups, the page of cups. So there is a, 
uh, what's in the what's in the sky, what's available is um, messages, new messages, new information, uh, emotional uh, emotional information, but perhaps um, immature, immature. Let's see what's in the immediate future for them. The world tree, which is the um, in this deck, it's the world card. And of course, this is a time of endings and beginnings. And so this is an ending of sorts for the Republicans uh, and also a new beginning for the Republicans. So what does that mean? Is it the end of who the Republicans used to be? And now this new sort of Trump, Trumpian, the only place you can, you can um, fit into the Republican parties is if you're a Trumpster. Is that it? Or is this just the end of everything and it's going to be done? Um, this is a card associated with Saturn. And Saturn is about um, the structure of things and being responsible. And yet Saturn is in Aquarius right now. So Saturn in Aquarius can be the breakdown of those structures through revolution and, and, and revolt, right? Um, so let's take, let's keep looking. And we have the nine of uh, stones here. This is called tradition. So uh, this is how it's seen from the outside. Um, a test of traditional values, perhaps. The domestic situation. The four of bows, we have a celebration. Sorry about that. There we go celebration. So there's this feeling that it's going to work. There's a feeling this is domestic. This like, um, people are like, yay, we're going to take over, you know, then all that stuff. So let's see, uh, hopes and fears. Ah, uh, yes. The tower, the tower. So of course they would fear destruction. And then there's this other, the other part of um, America who wishes they would just, the tower would fall and be done with them, would be done with them. We'd see them for who they really are. And the outcome, we have the hooded man, the hooded man, which is the hermit card. So this indicates an ending, an ending, uh, and then a, a disappearance, an ending, and then, then hiding out. So I feel as though from these cards that this is sort of a come to Jesus moment for the Republicans. They have to decide who they are. And um, my feeling is that they will not be able to do what they want to do. Well, Trump will be able to do what he wants to do. But what it will cause, it will cause the Republicans to really review uh, where they're at and, uh, and go through the process of um, looking at themselves very deeply and sort of hiding away as they do that. So as they move from power, I feel like they will try to regroup, try to figure out how to fix and heal what needs to be healed, if it can be healed. Um, and I do believe that perhaps the Trumpians, not necessarily the politician Trumpians, although it could be, um, I guess they would have to be the instigators of this to start perhaps a new uh, Republican Party, a new Republican Party, or a, a different um, Republican Party, you know something different from the, from the old Republican party. Okay. So that was the Republicans. Now let's take a look at the Democrats. Let's take a look at the Democrats. And for the Democrats, I think I'm going to use my, um, Arcanum deck. Hi, sorry. <laughs> Okay, so this is where are the Democrats at as we stand on the precipice of a possible Trumpian coup and the um, and the 
and the the election of the senators from uh, Georgia. I did do a reading on the on the Senate, um, and in my reading, both um, both Democrats won. Um, but there was a, maybe an issue with one of them, uh, a recount of some sort. And then I think what I will do is I'll do maybe a reading on Mitch McConnell. Let's see what's up for him. I might do that separately though. We'll see. Because I'm curious kind of as Mitch McConnell goes, so it goes the Republican Party to a certain extent. Is he still able to obstruct? That would mean that the Republicans still have some power. If not, then we know that, uh, that he's, uh, he's out of the equation. And if he's out of the equation, I have a feeling he may leave because what's the point of being there? Once you've been the king of the world, what's the point of being there? Once you've been the thorn in everybody's side, what's the point of being there if you can't be a thorn? Plus he's old. He probably wants to, I don't know, whatever old Republicans do. All right, let's see. The Democrats. We have the Four of Cups. So this is a certain amount. Uh, we have some uh, uh, divine discontent here. Um, I think that both parties, both parties are on the verge of um, of splitting. We'll say, um, not that they, not that the Democrats will, but. There are different factions, and the Democrats, of course, have always had more factions than the Republicans. Republicans tend to uh, just, you know, stand behind the one, um, no matter how vile they are. It's like they they go like this, right, and then they just do what they have to do to get their way. Um, but the <laughs> the Democrats say, you know, the firing squad is always like a circular firing squad. You know, they get rid of their best people because they're, they're ridiculous. Um, I, I'm thinking of um, uh, the guy out of Minnesota, Al Franken. I mean, he was great. I still haven't forgiven what's her name for that. Um, this is the crossing card, the Four of Swords. They're in a really challenging place because they are not in power yet. So when we look at this, they're just, you know, they're just sort of sitting there waiting for things to happen. And it's really hard to know what needs to happen and not have the power to do it. And then we have this ridiculousness that they must endure yet. Let's see what's at the root of this. Okay, the nine of wands. Um, yeah, they're ready. They're tired. They're tired of fighting, but they're standing strong. But in reality, they're just they're just sick and tired of the bullshit, quite frankly. Let's see what's in the past. We have the nine of cups. Um, the nine of cups in the past for the Democrats. I think they had their day um, as best they could have their day with the obstructionist uh, Republicans. But in the past, they have had success. Um, they've gotten what they wanted. Um, not recently. <laughs> so we'll see uh, what's in the sky. Okay, this is uh, unfair. So, so there's unfair stuff happening. Um, I think we have to, that might be the, um, the, the shenanigans going on in Georgia. So what, what's in the sky for them is um, unfair tactics, cruelty. Um, and it's not by them. I think it's at them. It's at them. Let's see the immediate future. Yeah, a lot of anxiety. They're very, they're very concerned. They're very concerned. I think they're more concerned with 
the fact that all this delay is going to cause more suffering. Um, I did a, a, I think I did a reading on Biden and he had this card in his. So I feel like there's a lot of, um, uh, a lot of undue suffering because, uh, Trump is being such, um, a whatever, a baby, whatever this is that he's doing. He's just pretending that, uh, that he won. Um, because it's the way he gets all the attention. I still don't understand why they don't understand that. Um, how it's seen from the outside that they have, they have the potential. They will have the power. They will have the power domestic situation. Um, they're working hard. They're working hard. They want to, they're work, they're trying to figure out something, um, to help the people. Um, they're, they're trying to push probably that $2,000 thing. Um, but they're working diligently, um, to get ready for when they do take power, uh, hopes and fears, the victory card, of course, continued victory, the outcome, the two of pentacles. So balancing the finances, um, the eight of cups. the Ten of Swords and the Victory card. I think um, the Eight of Cups, the Ten of Swords, that's Trump, the end of Trump, and then they get to do victory. So ultimately they feel uh, victory, but this is what's underneath it all, is the tower, is the tower. Um, disruption. The tower is always about, um, we have the tower, the two of cups, and then the strength card. I think the tr the tower is is the is the is the fall of Trump, is the fall of Trump. And in that, uh, we have agreements and strength, secrets, and legal battles. Oops, <laughs> legal battles. So um, I think they're going to go after him. I think they're going to go after him. I didn't always think that. I thought Biden might um, try to appease. Uh, but I think it's going so far that they have no, um, no choice but to stand and to fight this guy and to take him uh, to the end, so to speak, uh, as best they can. Um, so I think that the Democrats are definitely struggling, but I do think that, you know, the Je Democrats are usually not willing to go there. They send, they tend to like hold back and not really be, uh, whereas the Republicans just go for it. They don't give a crap. Right. Uh, but I think that the Democrats are getting to the point where they're like, so I think first things first, get rid of Trump. Uh, make sure that that legally uh, he's held accountable. Certainly not on everything. We'd be in court for the rest of our lives with that because he's done so. I mean, every day he did something and he was there for four years. Uh, but <laughs> but um, I think they are going to go after him for, for for whatever they can. I mean, you could how much? I mean, he can only be sued or go to jail for how many? He's 70, what, five, 76 now, 74, however old he is. He doesn't have much time left anyway. Um, so what are they going to do? But I think this experience with them may make them a little bit more um, pointy, pointy. But, you know, they have a lot of work ahead of them, as do the Republicans, because even though their party is uh, being torn asunder. They're still going to be there. 
<laughs> they're not going anywhere. It's not like the party, you know, gets torn asunder and then they all disappear. They're all still there. So, but I think that uh, perhaps the um, the Democrats will start playing hardball with the Republicans and we'll get more out of the Republicans with um, threats than with honey. But we'll see. We'll see. We don't know. Uh, I don't know. You know, this is, we're in a new paradigm. So we could go by what they've done before. Just like we can go by, you know, what's been done before. But Trump has changed all the rules. Actually, Trump has tested all the rules. And um, democracy works. But we have to be willing to compromise and we have to be willing to get out of our corners and we have to be willing to work together and communicate if democracy is to work. And we are so divided and so separated that that is a Herculean ta task. Um, so we will see where we, where we end up with all this. But I think that... Um, I think the Republicans are going to dis disappear to a certain extent, lick their wounds, and then the Democrats are going to go after Trump because this is just like maybe a bridge too far. Hopefully that's not just my own um, wanting of the situation. You know, there's still, there's still a chance, and I do not believe it will happen, there's still a chance that uh, things could get overturned and all of that. But even if it did, I don't think it would last very long. I don't think it would last very long. Let me ask that question. Um, if the the uh, if Trump is successful, what would be the next thing to happen? If Trump is successful with this coup, what would be the next thing to happen? I don't even know if I can ask this question. Like, I don't know if this, this is even going to work. But let's see what the cards say. You might give us some, some hint. We have the Six of Cups. The Three of Pentacles. The Three of Cups. The Knight of Cups, the Ten of Cups. Well, certainly a lot of emotions and money. The Page of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. Ace of Cups, the King of Swords, Ten. That's the tenth card. Um, I don't know. Certainly, a lot of emotions, and then the King of Swords being the last um, is the law. Is the law. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Choking on my own spit. That being said, one last thing I want to remind you guys. What you focus on is what you bring into your reality. And so what I would suggest is that you do not worry about this. <clears throat> and if you're going to picture something, picture us moving through this period of time and slowly, slowly moving in the direction of, <clears throat> excuse me, a man, man dealing compassionately with his fellow man. That's what I want to say. Um, and, and so it is. All right, guys, much love. Like and subscribe. Take care. Namaste.